And next up, we've got The Edge of Ludum Dare by Daniel Blanco. And yes, it is Ludum Dare, okay? Let's just be clear about that, Ludum Dare. Skip the, con uh, read the controls, skip the rest, press A, B, C, or space key. Okay, we can do that. Um, it's a bit interesting on a keyboard, or at least on a WASD keyboard. The A, B, and C are very far apart. Um, but we can try this on English, yes please. Uh, wait, this is the post jam version, that's okay. Everything is just the same in the Spanish version. Okay, so and they've translated it. Understood. Uh, this is a bit annoying. Uh, let's do this instead. Mm, hopefully it doesn't get blurry or anything. Nice. A conversational adventure. A. Oh, space. Oh, and that teleports me down there. Let's click into the frame first. Light enters through the window of your room and wakes you up. You have a hangover. It seems that yesterday you gave your best shot at the clandestine party. Okay. Um, you can remember this weekend takes... I'm having difficulty reading this text. I think... The issue is the line size. Um, that I wish there was more spacing between the lines so that I could more easily follow it without kind of accidentally bumping up or down the line. And anyway, um, you remember this weekend takes place. Ludum Dare and Theme will already be out. You search for the Ludum Dare website on your mobile phone, and effectively, Theme was revealed 14 hours ago and is stuck in a loop. So yeah, um, some of the translation I see has got a bit of issue. Um, but whatever. Um, you would like to participate in this game jam, but have doubts. So with this, I wish that it was one, two, and three, because they're they're always side by side. Um, but A, B, and C is like on weird spots of the keyboard. One, two, and three would just be a bit more logical, at least on a um, keyboard schematic. Uh, decide to take part in the compo mode. Decide to take part in the jam mode, or have a terrible headache and go to bed. Uh, look, I'll go jam mode. Uh, I like going jam just because I can work with my uh, music friend who can actually do music. Because, uh, as I said, Bosca Oil is not my strong suit. So let's go B. Uh, you don't have a development team prepared in advance, so you call your friend Desil by Zoom. She is very good at programming. That is why you propose her to code a video game for this Ludum Dare. Desil has a lazy day, and she's not interested at all in your proposal. Wow, Desil, I thought we were friends. Gosh. What's up with this? <clears throat> Janae, the guy who fixed your computer. I get the feeling he's not going to help. You decide to take part in the compo mode. But you could do the jam mode solo and just get go for that extra time, you know? Make something a bit bigger. Uh, look, let's get combo, because I get the feeling that's the way they're pushing us. Uh, although you start 14 hours late, your desire to develop something is enormous. You're in pain, but somehow you manage to sit down in front of the computer. You start to brainstorm some cool ideas for your brand new video game. Use of the theme seemed easy at the beginning, but only just as a couple of hours later, you realize from achieving a good... Re Wait, you realize that the lack of skills prevents you from achieving a good result. Sorry. So yeah, I just missed a line there because I was over here and I skipped and I, I missed a line. Um, would, you would need a great team for a great submission. Your migraine is increasing conse consequently. You go to bed, you fall asleep, space to wake, and now you're like an hour from submission. What the heck are you going to do? Panic! Light enters through the window of your room and you wake up. You remember that yesterday you participated in the Ludendare. You search for the Ludum Dara website on your mobile phone and you can see that the theme was revealed 14 hours ago. Oh, so we failed. Okay, we've looped around. Um, let's try Janae. Janae has been thinking for a long time about publishing an app on Google Play, so it might sound like a good idea to team up with you in this Ludum Dare. Then he will publish you the final result. <laughs> if it's worth it, jeez, what are we going to make? It doesn't sound like it's going to be too great. Um, furthermore, his wife and children are on vacation this weekend, and he is feeling bachelor? Not sure that's the right word, but okay. Um, okay, you'll work as a pitch slayer helping Janae, or you'll work as a narrative designer helping Janae. Hmm, pixel art or narrative? 
And I can lean both ways, but what about this character? He's a bit drunk at the moment, so he'd probably be better doing pixel art. Because otherwise... Wait, hangover, sorry. Otherwise, the narrative might be a bit all over the place. So let's go for pixel art. You thought that making pixel art was easy, but Janae strives to code 30 characters with different armors, each one with their own custom badge. You work really hard drawing, but the deadline arrives and you only have finished three characters. However, you didn't have time to set any animations, so Janae will not be able to use any of them. You realize that you have to tell Janae the hard truth. Sick of drawing pixel art, you go to bed. Tell the hard truth. And we're dead. One more time, you will not submit any game to Ludomodare site on time. Too many bad decisions, too much laziness, too many bad planning, and your pathetic schedule and your lack of experience uh, has failed you. Defeated, you go to sleep. And wake up doing the same thing. So let's go B, let's go Janae, and let's go for narrative. <clears throat> you have left Janae all the weight of the art and coding. The truth is that you have no idea what it is like to write for video games. When Janae realizes that you are actually doing nothing, he gets angry and expels you from the team. Reflect on your failure or go to bed. Uh, well, that's either way is going to kill us. Uh, so what happens if we go to compo mode, we're instantly dead. So I think we've gone through all the paths. Um, yeah, we've, we've gone through all the paths, so I think that's the game. Okay. Do we have the developer here, Daniel Blanco? Um, but otherwise I'll assume that was it. And we're actually out of games. Huh. Oh no. Um, overall, that was good. Good. Uh, fun. Yeah, it, it's, um, it's interesting. Um, <laughs> so some of the language was hard to, to, to say, to repeat, to, like it didn't make grammatical sense to what I'm trying to say. Um, and I get that stuck in translate, lost in translation. Um, it was a bit short and didn't seem to have a way to actually win. You have a terrible headache, go back to bed, that would have failed us. Yeah. Uh, the ABC, I wish it was one, two, three, just so it's all in a straight line. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I can't think of much else to say. It could have been longer, I guess. Or just had a win route. But I get the feeling was that you're stuck in a loop of just failing every time. Um, so yeah. Innovation? Not a crazy amount. That's a bit, I guess, in the story. It's an interesting story that I haven't heard before. Like, a Ludum Dare simulator. Um, theme. Uh, I'm stuck in a loop. So it's just that every time you die, you... Or every time you fail, you go again. Which, I mean, it's there, but, like... You can normally restart something anyway. Like, it's not changing the game. Uh, graphics are fine yeah um i get the feeling you didn't make the font um and when the, the entire graphics is font um it's hard to rate on graphics so i'll, I'll rank, rank it down a bit just because yeah of that yeah sure i'll try that one uh next i'd love to audio was fine again humor was probably the strongest suit of the game. Um, yeah, there could be some funny situations, especially if you expanded on it. Uh, mood was fine. And that was The Edge of Ludum Dare.